Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to assemble the 5x5 Rubik's Cubes. Recently I have made a video on how to assemble the 4x4. If you could go check that out in my channel, I'll link it in the description. And so in this video I'm going to be assembling the 5x5. Assembling the 5x5 is going to be a little bit easier than assembling the 4x4 and I'll show you guys why. So until then, let's take this apart. Alright guys, so I've disassembled this, so the first step is, is to separate all the pieces. Alright, so there I have separated all the pieces, so I separated based on like the type of pieces. So like here are the red centers, orange centers, yellow centers pieces, white center pieces, blue center pieces, green center pieces, white, white, li white color uh, corners and edges, yellow color corners and edges, and edges. And you obviously need the core, so let's start building this. Okay, to get started, you need these pieces. The middle edge, the middle edge that is blue and yellow, and uh, blue and yellow wing pieces. You can start with any color. I just decided to start with the yellow first. So what you're what you're gonna need to do is that you can see how these pieces connect with each other. So like first, you need to understand the pattern. This part's gonna require practice. Look, you can see how they can connect with each other, right? Hold these pieces together, take the blue one out, and carefully take the centers and put this in, right? Over here, like this, and carefully take this um, blue wings and insert it in between these. Uh, like this, there you go. You'll know when the first step is complete when it looks like this. So right here, you just have to keep doing this same thing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ed uh, middle edge that matches these two colors, and I'm going to get those two wings over here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this over here I'm gonna, I'm gonna carefully bring the core and then I'm gonna I'm gonna insert it in then I'm gonna insert it in this just like that and again carefully I'm gonna push this push the wings in and it is gonna pop a few times so this is gonna require some practice you know when the step is complete when your cube looks like this. So the next step is is to take one of these yellow wings and then put the and just drop this in over here like that, like to look like this. Then again, take one of these center the corner center pieces that the yellow ones that look like this, and then drop them beside it like this, and do this with the same other one, and then carefully put the cube down. Make sure it does not fall out. Take the edge that matches these two. So I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna take this edge here. I'm gonna, oh, whoa, that was close. I'm gonna drop it over here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna drop it down over here. Now we just have to complete this side. So carefully, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this white and I mean I'm gonna take this orange and yellow edge. I'm gonna carefully inserted underneath the cube right here like this then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these edges the yellow and orange then I'm gonna drop them in beside it like that and then right here I'm just gonna put the corner piece over here like this like this and like uh, like this and I'm gonna put this in so you'll know when the step is complete when the cube looks like this so exactly do the same thing in the other side and then I'll show you what to do next. You'll know when the step is complete when it looks like this. So all the yellow sides are on the cube and now we're ready to build all the layers around. For this step, what am I gonna do is that, again, you can start any color. I'm just gonna start with the blue. So I'm gonna take these corner center pieces of the blue and I'm just gonna drop them in just like this over here. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing with the, with the red. I'm gonna take these two, I'm gonna just drop them in like that. And then, don't forget, don't forget to put that, to put that, drop the edge in like that, and then do the same thing around the cube. So I'm just gonna, so just work your way around the cube, and then I'll tell you what to do next.
There you go. I have completed the second row now. This part is my favorite. This step is my favorite part because it's the most satisfying. So now we're going to build the centers. So now take the middle edges and just drop them in like this. And drop them in like this. Take two of these wings, these blue wings, and drop them in between the middle center edge and the center and just do the same thing with the red. So I take so I take two of these red wings and I just push them in like that. And same with the green. I take two of the green wings and I just and I just push them in just like that. And again do the same thing with the orange and just, just push it in like that. Now we have completed half the cube as you can see. We have completed a half the cube. Now over here, this part, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the last layer of the centers that we're gonna take this blue wing over here. And I'm gonna put it in here. And over here, we drop these two uh, corners, the center pieces in and over here. And then over here, I put the edge here. And again, over here, I put that edge in here. So just work your way around the cube until you're done with the fourth layer. Then I'll tell you what to, to do next. Again, this time don't end it off with the edges because then it's gonna pop so instead so instead end it off by pushing the wings and then this will do it now we just have to complete our last layer so to build the last layer you need three of these uh, you have to connect three of these edges right the blue and white you can go with any color I'm just going with these two and I carefully insert it through between the center and these pieces so now it's in and put the corners and put the corners in too just like this and now again do the same thing uh, on this white and this white side just just do the same thing you do you do uh that you did with all around the layers so i'm gonna carefully drop this i'm gonna carefully push it move it down a little bit and now let me move the camera down so you guys can see it a little bit there you go i moved the camera down so so you guys can see so now we are going to take this white wing again, like usual that we do in all the other b bottom layers. And now we just insert carefully, insert in like that. So now I am going to take. So I'm going to take these white corners, and I'm gonna chop them in just like that. So now for this step again, we are going to take these two edges that are aligned to the center, and now I am going to hold this so this doesn't fall, and I'm gonna insert it in like that and again i'm going to do same thing over here i'm going to drop this in like this and now what we do we take we take the wings here and then we we insert them in and then we we insert them in just like this all right so now we have completed the third row now it's time for the final two sides so before we do this, we take, we take these, uh, we take, uh, we connect the edges and the corners, right? And then we take it like this and we carefully put it in like that. So again, do the same thing over here and this side. Put the corners in carefully, just like that, and hold the green center pieces so they don't fall. And yeah, and over here, take, take this, insert it in like that. And take this and insert it in. And again, just put this piece in. Stu, please get in! Just kidding, guys. Don't show tantrums while fixing it. So I know most of y'all struggle in this part. 
you can't put the end piece in and because of that the whole cube collapse so here's how you do it so some people they just put they just put these two edges in and then you just put this in alone by by itself which is something you're not supposed to do and it won't go in like that what you do is that you connect instead you connect these three pieces right you connect them and you hold them like that you turn you carefully turn the cube 45 degrees so after turning 45 degrees you carefully what you do you push this in and then you turn it through and there you go this is how you assemble a five by five rubik's cubes so set so if you have then comment if you have congratulations if you made this far into the end I do have a loose piece though, so let me just put it back in. But yeah, thank, but yeah, congratulations for a successful 505 assembly, and I hope this video was helpful for you. And send this to a video who has a 505 and needs help assembling it. Give this video a like, share it, and subscribe. And if you just want to see my 4x4 assembly video, I'll link that in the description. And see you guys next time. And comment if you guys want to see an assembly of a 6x6, and I will do so. So don't forget to give this video a like. Comment, share it, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Peace.